What a race. What a finish. Sunday's NASCAR Cup Series Yellowwood 500 at Talladega Super Speedway was a non-stop action-filled thrill ride, and it ended with Ryan Blaney scoring a victory in a photo finish over Kevin Harvick, one of NASCAR's younger emerging stars winning over a legend who is retiring at year's end. You can't write a script better than that. However, Sunday's Talladega playoff race was a disappointing outing for Kevin Harvick and Stuart Haas Racing. Harvick, who crossed the finish line in second place, was disqualified by NASCAR after his number 4 Ford did not pass the post-race inspection. After a successful post-race inspection, official haulers found that Harvick's car had windshield fasteners, which meant an unsecured windshield that was not supposed to be there, especially with next-gen cars, as per the rules. Disqualification is for violation of NASCAR rulebook section 14.5.6.2.F windshield and 14.1.E and P overall assembled vehicle rules. As a result, Harvick lost all stage points that he earned during the race and moved to 38th place in the final race results. Meanwhile, each driver saw a one-spot promotion, with points table leader William Byron promoted to second place. According to NASCAR, Stuart Haas Racing has the right to appeal the penalty and there was no response from the team till now. The 2023 Yellowwood 500 was the final super speedway race of Kevin Harvick's career as the veteran driver will retire at the end of the season. He holds three wins at Super Speedway, including two wins at Daytona International Speedway and one at Talladega Super Speedway. I was kind of late blocking the 12 there, Kevin Harvick on final lap battle at Talladega. Before the post-race inspection, the number 4 Ford driver spoke to the media about the outcome of the race. He said that he was in a good position to win until Riley Herbs took over Byron's spot behind him. Speaking about the thrilling final 10 lap battle to the finish line, Harvick said, Well, I just tried to block the lanes and then I was kind of late blocking the 12 there. He got to the outside of the US, but it actually worked out okay because the 24 was a great pusher. Then it got shuffled again and I had Riley behind me, as quoted by Speedway Digest. Harvick continued, I thought I was in a really good spot headed down the back straight away with everything that was happening because I knew if I could get off the tri-oval with Riley right on my bumper I was still going to be okay and then he got spun in the middle of the tri-oval. While it was another nail-biting win for Blaney at Talladega, Sunday's win was possibly the biggest triumph at the track to date for the Team Penske racer as he is on to the round of eight and will continue to battle for his first career NASCAR Cup Series championship. In an interesting twist of fate for team owner Roger Penske, he's seen the highest of highs and lowest of lows of the playoffs over the last few weeks. Joey Logano, who won the championship for Penske a season ago, was eliminated in the round of 16 after a crash in Bristol. Fast forward a couple of weeks and Penske is celebrating another one of his drivers scoring an important win at Talladega, which moves him on to the penultimate round of the playoffs. William Byron, who secured his place in the playoffs round of eight with a win at Texas Motor Speedway last weekend, initially finished third in the race but was elevated to a runner-up finish following inspection. Byron was followed to the line by Denny Hamlin. Hamlin rallied back from a mid-race speeding penalty which set him back for a good portion of the race. Hamlin kept hoping and praying for the caution that would get him back on the lead lap, and when one finally came, Carson Hockevar found himself in the free pass position ahead of Hamlin. While Hollywood would be hard pressed to come up with a better script for the finish of Sunday's race, they would have an equally difficult time choreographing the level of action we saw on Sunday as well. In all, there were 70 lead changes on the day between a total of 24 drivers. It was an incredible showcase of drivers leaving it all on the racetrack as we saw at minimum two wide races all day long and the field got up to four wide on a few sustained occasions throughout the event. And while the action was tight and fierce, there weren't a slew of accidents to slow the action. The race only featured a total of four cautions and only two were four on-track incidents. While three of the top four finishers in the race were playoff drivers, it turned into a not-so-great day for those looking to hoist the cup. Christopher Bell was the fourth-highest finishing playoff driver in 14th, while Ross Chastain and Brad Keselowski were swept up in crashes and finished 37th and 32nd on the day. What did you think about the race's finish? Were you rooting for Blaney or Harvick on that final lap? And how do you feel about Harvick's disqualification? Make sure to leave your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this comprehensive recap, don't forget to hit the like button, share this video with fellow NASCAR enthusiasts, and subscribe for more updates. Let's keep the conversation going and see you all in the next race recap.